Forgiveness is not by choice. Many times I met so many different people. Yeah, complaining. I have stress. I have disappointment. I have depression. I have pain in my chest. I have stroke. 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 I have so these people, they are suffering by several diseases. Do you don't know that they are the cause. They are the cause of this difference. Yet they come to complain. Only two verses, there are enough for you to get in the future. 
That's why it is very difficult for some level of people to come to Jesus Christ. Especially the higher caliber. Especially the leaders of the society. Oh, our leaders. Why? Because they believe that they do not make a mistake. They believe that they do not make mistakes. They believe that they, they, they have been leading for so long. 
And they don't believe that. As they are leading, these threats are being also followed there. Let me give you an example. You see a man driving a car with a wrong speed at the wrong place. And you tell the person, the way you are driving is not safe. I've been driving for 10 years now. So they believe that if you know how to drive for so many years, you cannot involve in a car accident. That's what they feel. So, so they are thinking inside the box. So they only look the way they drive inside. And they are not thinking outside of the box that somebody can drive you in mistakes. Somebody can drive food to, towards you. <laughs> and even though you are a champion driver, somebody to drive towards you, you can get confused. That's why this example is a very good example for you to understand that. Doesn't matter who you are, you can make a mistake. Mistakes are part of life. If you are ready to do the best, then you are ready to believe that you can make mistakes. You will never do the best if you are not ready to change. If you are not ready to change, you will never do the best if you are not ready to change. That's why you find people who are doing business like you for 20 something years. But any mistake, the business can come down. The business can come up. Why? Even in the time of Corona, why if you are a businessman for 25 years, 30 years, why are you complaining for Corona? A champion businessman. They are complaining for Corona. They When you think that I cannot forgive because I'm innocent. You are lying to yourself. Because you keep on praying and studying the Bible. But at the same time, God is speaking, talking to you. But you will not hear him. Why? Because your heart. As long as your heart is troubled, the Holy Spirit cannot work in you. And God cannot speak to you without the Holy Spirit. Have you ever heard about the Holy Spirit? Have you ever heard about the baptism of the Holy Spirit? Or you just heard about which doctors? Or you only heard about Kalungohole every day when you are going to church? There is a baptism of the Holy Spirit. And this one is not by corruption. It's not by 
because it came straight from God. It came in a divine way. And the life that you are living that's a life that touch or invited the Holy Spirit to come inside you never be a Christian and you don't have the Holy Spirit unless you are a fake Christian born again or unborn again when you tell yourself that you cannot forgive you will not be comfortable because you carry a stone on top of you which is not yours and when you decide that you cannot forgive it's like you are taking poison in your mouth and you are expecting the person who is selling the poison to die let me give you another example you find a young woman having an unwanted pregnancy. And that woman is taking poison inside you. See, don't double think that this poison can also affect me. The only thing of unwanted pregnancy. It's the only thing of unwanted pregnancy. That's how forgiveness works. It's slowly, surely destroying you inside. Let me try to lead you step by step how it works and you feature yourself to see where you are standing. Number one, it is that of anger. When somebody done what you don't like, it opened the door for the anger to enter. When the anger enter you, then you allow it to sit down. Then it starts working in you. It glow to the standard of stress. So some of those things they are not in this world, don't worry. After it becomes stress, to continue eating inside you. Then it glow to the level of Depression. When it moves to the grow to the level of depression, you start experiencing different pains. Sometimes you feel numbness on the arm or just on the leg. This is where even headache will be invited as well. But they are very smart. They will be, they work on and off so that you will not mind about it. But inside they smile them one day. That's why even you find these women with their kids in the house. And they are putting this frustration in the kids. Shouting on and off. Shouting to the children. Small or single mistake that the child has done. Shouting, shouting. 
Kain kita, kain kita, tahannya, tahannya ya. Another sign that attracts also the lack of appetite. And this is also another way where you find the person is, is weak. It attracts also some sharp pains in the body. On the heart or on the back as well. And from there it attacks the veins that run with blood. From the heart. No. The fresh blood from the heart. Or how does it attack? They start to become swollen. And the blood is no longer flowing and enough to flush the woman. No Then when this at the part that is not receiving enough blood, it starts getting weak. Now and some cells become completely weak and you find a person attacked by stroke. Stroke will be united in. And this is where you find the person who no longer walk when the stroke was suffering by stroke. But it was just a little or a small disagreement. It was just a small temptation in your marriage. It was just a small temptation between you and your brother. And most of these things, it happened in the family. Because these are the people that almost always they interact one another. Sometimes they more they are seeing one another face to face. The more the pain is very strong and grow very fast. And it brings so strong pain. Why? Because these people they bring that. No, 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 no. This person is my brother. I help this person and this and this and that. No, this person is my wife. I help her this and that. This woman cannot cheat on me. This man cannot cheat on me. I met him when this man was nothing. Very, very poor. Nobody would be able to look at him or recognize him. But now that this man is making money and is having a nice car, all the women they can see him now. Now even the Atlantis, they can see that there is money here, they are coming so that they will get the money. So this is the secret why many people are suffering. But most of the time they don't get depressed because things are not uh, so well in the business. Not really. They understand that. They take it and accommodate it. But the battle in the marriage, battle in the family, that one is very stress. That one is very fast with stroke. And, and this is what we need to understand that it's better for you to forgive so that you solve it very fast. 
Let's look at the, the second Corinthians, what the Bible says. Uh, second Chronicle, I mean. On Second Chronicle. We are going to read one verse only. This is verse 14. We talk about chapter 7. Chapter 7, verse 14. Oh, <laughs> No kutima kwa matimba abo, no kuverula oshirongo shabo. Amen. Hallelujah. These scriptures are very clear. Eh, misha kwa kila daira. There's no way to go to hell. Ah, uh, ito drugi ya kumeli. Wali well, yuhi le daira. Omanga ulambi deli. Wali well, ignorance people who go to hell because they don't want to read the Bible. Ova idimbi ki ova le daira ko daira ko hell church na harapa shumbi deli. You understand here what God says. If you are humble, we humble ourselves. And believe. They And accept. They have to open our mouth. To say out these expensive words. Before it was only brothers who were afraid of this word that is very expensive. But now, even our wife, they are also afraid of this word. Our sisters, they are also afraid of this word. It was very expensive. Just a single word. With three or four words. I'm sorry. And what? My dear, I am sorry. My wife, I am sorry. My brother, I am sorry. My husband, I am sorry. I am so sorry. For free. Oh, Shari. Very expensive. Very much expensive. About our granny, ah, you find it too. You find only two who can I'm sorry. In our grand, uh, grandparents. Only two that you find here. Who can say I am sorry? So the the security is that if you cannot accept that you are you are wrong, then you are ask forgiveness. If you cannot accept that you are wrong, then you or you make a mistake, then you cannot ask forgiveness. If you cannot accept that you make mistake, how will you come to Jesus Christ? The people who come to Jesus Christ is the only people who can say, I'm sorry, Lord, forgive me. And if you come to Jesus Christ and you say, I'm sorry, yet you cannot say sorry to a human being that you see. Jesus Christ will not accept your forgiveness. Then 
He will wait for you to go and ask so there, so that you come back. Imagine he even saying the book of Matthew that if you want to give me something, and you do not ask for forgiveness or ask for forgiveness uh, a, a church or to a church elders, I will not accept anything. What does it mean by that? Means salvation is there, but only if you forgive. I said salvation is there only if you forgive. Better is available if you forgive. Healing is here now if you forgive. Breakthrough is here, but forgive. Blessings are here now, I can see them, but. He's waiting for you. Oh, boy, you need to forgive. Your job is waiting for you. But when are you going to forgive? If you do not forgive now, the ghosts and witches and witch doctors that are trapping you in your house, they cannot go anywhere if you don't forgive. They cannot go anywhere. Because you connect them to your bitterness. Your anger. Your pain of the past. Your pride. And arrogance. Is keeping this trouble that are following you. Is connecting to these problems, predicaments that are following you. You help them to be strong so that they will follow you every day. Every single mistake that you are making that connected to Satan is attracting problems. You are complaining, but you don't know that you cause it to yourself. How will you receive the blessing? If every time you carry the burden, Jesus Christ wants to give you blessing. Madam, give me your hand. Yeah, give me the wallet. Because it's, it's where you put the money. Because, because everyone wants money. How can I take the money now? If I carry the unforgiveness. Eh? Everywhere I go, even this man wants to give me phone. Give me your phone. It's a gift. I will look at it. But I will not take it. I carry the burden of unforgiveness. I carry stress. I carry disappointment. This is the problem. What you are going through. Every time you say, Apostle, deliver me, deliver me. I hit you, fire. You roll down with your unforgiveness. You roll down with your stress. You roll down with your pain. You don't want to let it go. And yet, you can't rest. Because this is a predicament. It's a heavy burden. You can't even sleep. And again, you can't sleep because you want a job. You are sleeping. How can I sleep my job? I'm a graduate. I have a diploma, I have a degree. Yes. A master degree. You come back, 
Then forgiveness. No, you fall down, you roll down if you have forgiveness. Yeah. You put it on your head. You say, Lord, I forgive you. Yeah. You put it on your head. You say, Yeah, bless morning, all of you. The church was blessed. Yeah. Hallelujah. Amen. People are carrying blessings. 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 People are Smiling everywhere. People ask, How was the church? If you want to know what the church look at me. 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 I'm no longer walking with a walking stick. I'm no longer walking with crutches. I'm no longer on the wheelchair. I'm no longer having, getting tired when I'm running. Why? Bad day. Of unforgiveness is out. When people who are saying, I'm here for the first time. But I think I'm not sure if I'm going to be. But when I heard about this God of Apostle because even me, this is the God that I, I, he was introduced to me, the God of Apostle Sunday. Even me, I come to him <laughs> So that he changed my life. So that he changed my family. So that even he changed my blood. So I wanted to raise up your hands. So that you accept this God. I don't know if you, as you raise up your hands in the social media. But I'm here today to introduce you to a very unique man. This man has taken me from grass to grace. From nothing to somebody. He has taken me from a lonely life to a big family like you. That's why you're here today. To unite is a big family. That's why you are watching now from Norway or Jamaica. Or South Africa or Nigeria. So that's why we unite today. It's because of this man. I want you to accept you right now. I want you to repeat after me. Say, Lord Jesus Christ. I accepted I believe that I'm a sinner. I understand that you die on the cross for me. That's why I'm here. Lord Jesus Christ. Wash away all my sins. Set me free. Write my name in the book of life. And change my story. Lord Jesus Christ. I'm tired of being a slave of sin. I'm tired of being a slave of Satan. And from today on, I want to work for you and with you. I see no more because I want to live the life that you want me to live. 
and obey your words especially your commands every day of my life thank you Jesus Christ for saving my soul hallelujah amen what shall we say?